Well, I want to fax Mars. And the Gombe War of Tanzania. This actually takes these people by surprise. It's, uh, them, it was studied by Jane Goodall, the famed anthropologist. And it was a four year long guerrilla war. That's not G O. You can see it's different spelling. Which means kind of a terrorist type thing, more between two groups of chimps. Now, the people that write these articles are obviously clueless. We usually associate war with the human species. Many civilizations were found or destroyed, founded or destroyed because of the act of war, and it is something that continues regardless of the price. Many would hope that, through the process of evolution, ethical development of our species, the need for warfare would be eliminated, but not as yet. War is generally considered, according to some theorists, an integral part of human nature and is an act committed by organized societies. Uh, yeah, well, there's major problems with all that. Excuse me, here's where the mad science part of this whole thing comes in. Do you people understand that nature is all about war? Now, what is artifacts talking about? There's no wars out in nature, but everything lives peacefully. I, uh, you yeah, wrong. Other theories suggest that war is more primal, the idea of war is not limited to humans received more support in the 1970s after war-like behavior was observed in a group of our closest relatives, which I reject, in the chimpanzee community. Turns out we have more in common with our animalistic past than some would like to admit. Uh, they're not animals. I don't know who created us, but we're not like them. It all began when Jane Goodall, today regarded as world's foremost expert on chimps, went to the Gambi Stream National Park to do long term research on chimpanzees and their natural environment. The idea for the research was sparked by Dr. Louis Leakey prominent paleontologist in Africa. Leakey wanted to learn more about the social systems of early humans and he thought the best way to find out was to observe the organizational structure of the closest living world as apes, ape species. Leakey sent three of his students to different places around Africa to observe various groups of apes. One of them was sent to observed the orangutans in Borneo, another went to Rwanda, studied the behavior of Greek gorillas, and last but not least, Jane Goodall was sent to Tanzania to observe the chimpanzees. Prior to the 1970s, the funny and friendly looking chimpanzees were often regarded as a peaceful animal. Not that anybody even knew about their behavior. That's because you always get the babies on TV. They're all smiling and happy and whatnot. Those are baby chimps. Uh, here's the problem with all this. Nature is the world of war. Now, let's start at the uh, those uh, pink airbags inside your uh, chest. Inside of those, you have bacteria that are constantly being sucked in, bacteria and germs, and you have little beasties running around to kill them, to protect you. They're little beasties. I'm not a medical person. I don't know all of what's in there, but they're basically 
armies and armies attacking anything that comes in their pollen, bacteria, and so forth. All right, fine. Now, take a look at your average ant hill. Think that's peaceful? Better think again. See, insects have wars too. Insects fight constantly. Especially the organized ones like uh, Hymenoptera, which is bees and ants and wasps and such. They have soldiers and they have workers and such and scouts and of course the queen. The soldiers help defend the colony against whatever. That's the way it is. So war is not limited to us by any means. Do you think these people would realize this? Uh, there's a war between raptors and uh, crows, which is ongoing. I don't know exactly why this happens, but raptors and crows go at it on a regular basis. You can see them. See the crows trying to bash them into trees, and raptors are going there nests just to kill their babies. The crows' babies. It's a constant thing. It's not just a predator prey thing. There's war out there all the time. And of course, different animals sometimes will eat each other when it's not their normal prey. Warfare is a constant thing out there. It's in the ocean, it's on the land. The difference is they don't have the weapons that we do. We can blow ourselves off the planet, and we just might wind up doing that here if we can't get, find a way to stop ourselves. Uh, these people seem to be completely out of touch with reality. War is out there. It's under your feet. It's up in the trees. Red squirrels hate gray squirrels. Gray squirrels hate red squirrels. It's, that's just nature. It's warfare. And these people are out of touch with reality. It surprises them that chimps will make more, but it doesn't surprise me in the least. It's just the way it is, folks. Unbelievable. Anyway, I've gone really long. Sorry about that. Thanks for watching.